Hi Sagittarius, this is going to be a general love reading for September 2022 and it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Sagittarius. It is a general reading so it's not going to be everybody's situation. That is perfectly okay. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can find all those details in the description box below this video. And it is a love reading so it's going to be about you and another person that is on your mind but the roles can be reversed because it is general all right Sagittarius Sun Moon rising and Venus signs let's see what is going on with you in September and for the situation all right we have the devil the first card out crossed by the ace of cups hmm Okay, so yeah, something is definitely feeling a little bit toxic or maybe there's a lot of fear. There is some kind of a negative attachment that somebody has to somebody else. It could be um, either within the connection between the two of you or it could be with something else, all right, for one or the other. And obviously that is preventing um, love from coming into the picture here um, between the two of you because I do feel like with the Ace of Cups showing up to begin with, love is definitely here or there are feelings here or there's definitely that potential. Um, but it's like, it almost feels like somebody is choosing something that is toxic at the moment over over love. Um, or at least that's what, what it has has been happening. Let's see your energy. The Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and the Chariot. All right. Um, it's like you were coming from a place of possibly having hope um, that things would take a new direction here with this person, that there would be some kind of a start, some kind of a new beginning, especially in terms of the practical like in, in the material world, um, it doesn't feel like that's actually the case, having that devil's energy here. So I, I am seeing that it's like you're becoming just more, more strict or just like raising your, your standards possibly, just feeling more empowered in some way. Um, we'll see we'll see more when we clarify but I feel like you're really just you know moving in a way where you might not know exactly where you're going but it's like there's a lot of determinism behind this movement we'll see because we're gonna clarify um, that's also cancer's energy showing up in your on your side let's see for them we have the Queen of Pentacles the page of swords and the King of Swords. All right. Um, this could definitely be another um, person showing up here for some of you. It doesn't have to be. Um, but to me, this, this Queen of Pentacles does represent or can represent a third party. All right. So that could be the case for some of them. I definitely see progression. Okay. So whatever it is that's going on, <clears throat> on the other person's side. There's a progression from the Page of Swords to the King of Swords. And we had something similar for Aries, so maybe some of you are dealing with an Aries. Um, we are also getting strong air, air signs here, so that would be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right, some of you might be dealing with one of those signs. This person is, um, at the moment, I feel like they're taking small steps here with this Page of Swords. It, it feels more like um, investigating or exploring the situation, possibly even um, just like observing or keeping an eye on you, that could be the case. But they're moving towards becoming a lot more decisive or a lot more determined than, than they have been. I feel like they might be gaining information. And for a lot of them, they could be gaining information um, about a situation that they're in, which is unhealthy if this is them, or about, you know, whatever it is that is toxic. Um, it could even be that this person at one point was actually looking after their own um, best interest and what is in their highest good in the good way, um, but might currently be finding themselves stuck 
in something that is a little bit unhealthy here. Let's see the potential outcome. We have the Ace of Swords. Okay, yeah, so that's action. This is action and this is action based in truth. So let's clarify and get more details here. See what is going on. So I really want to see what this devil's energy is because it hasn't really showed up yet in the main um, cards here. So let's see, the Devil and the Ace of Cups. Three of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, and the King of Cups. Okay, so it's actually, yeah, it feels like it's a third party situation um, for a lot of you that might be watching this particular video. Um, again, it doesn't have to be. Um, some of these messages might apply to you anyway, or they might apply to you in a different way. For some of them, this could be work, right? Or becoming obsessed with work, or and that being, you know, standing in the way of love. Um, it definitely feels like it's involving other people, though, here. All right, which is creating some kind of a negative attachment, um, some kind of an obsession, or even a sense of either false love, like I'm getting like a toxic type of a love for something here. Um, and it's creating a lot of emotional imbalance. Um, and I feel like this emotional imbalance is, is happening for the both of you because of this situation. And it does come in as, you know, whoever this is, it's like they're not really taking much action at the moment, right? We do have a different outcome though, right? For September here, it does look like it is moving towards action, as I said, but it's like at the moment um, with this two of wands, I see it more of some kind of a stagnation and not knowing really which way to go, possibly being in a crossroads, just looking at the situation. For some of you, this might even be somebody um, being very like negatively tied to a situation where they're at a crossroads between some kind of a contract or again, it could be work or some kind of a partnership and then love on the other side of that. So like um, material versus emotions. Right, or there's something negative in the material world versus love. And it's like standing right in the middle of that. All right, let's see for you. Let's see, let me see that Queen of Swords. The Six of Wands and Temperance. All right, so there's your energy here. Yeah, you're definitely empowering yourself. I feel like you're stepping into your own power here. Um, it almost feels like, you know what, like you're, you're finding some kind of a pride, but it's in the good way. It's not coming in as ego at all with, te with temperance being here. It's like, um, it's like a soft kind of, you know what, I'm gonna look out for me. Like I'm gonna do what is in my best interest here. And so you're you're cutting out any bullshit, basically. You're um, not tolerating other people's egos, or you're not tolerating the toxicity and whatever that means to you. Like it could be just in your own mind, right? Not necessarily how you are portraying this to the other person, because some of you might not even be in contact with this person. Um, and some of you are. Either way, you're just like, no. I feel like you're seeing this from a different perspective now where you know, you're know you finding some kind of forgotten integrity within your own self. But you're not letting that get to your head. It's like you're not being arrogant. You're not being prideful. You're just knowing what you deserve. Let's see the chariot.
yeah, Nine of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. It's like you're moving quickly. You're moving quickly towards finding independence. And it's like, as you do that, it's actually going to feel more and more comfortable for you. Whatever situation you're in, whatever feels new to you, I feel like you're taking a new path here. And you're just going to feel more and more um, fulfilled in this path, whatever it is. It might not feel that way just yet, but that's what you're definitely moving towards. So it's like you're you're releasing any attachment. I feel like you are actually um, like removing yourself from a toxic situation here. Taking yourself out of the equation. And it's happening pretty quickly. And that's just really throwing you onto a very, very positive path for you where you're going to feel really, really good about your own self and about whatever the situation happens to be at the moment. All right, let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see this Queen of Pentacles. The Five of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Yeah, so if this is somebody who, like, it felt like they were, um, because I feel like this devil's energy may have been here from before, and it, this could be somebody who was, you know, overcoming that, right? Um, but it feels almost like, almost like they went back um, to it, or just had a really hard time moving away from it. Yeah, because it's, it's like it's coming in as trying to leave something behind, trying to move in a more positive direction, but ultimately it's like there's this five of pentacles here where there was um, either self-pity or just feeling pity in some way or another, um, feeling less than. Or like there was some kind of a loss. All right, let's let's move on to this page of swords. The page of cups and the high priestess. Yeah, they're. I feel like they're taking some steps again. Um, there's a lot of like research that's happening at the moment. A lot of observing, especially in terms of love and in terms of their own feelings. Um, I, I feel like this person is getting more and more in tune and more aligned with their own feelings and with their own emotions, especially in terms of you and in this, this, this toxic situation that's also present. So just becoming more and more aware of that. Again, it feels like, yeah, this person might be um, watching you or observing you or is very interested in what might be going on with you, right? These feelings are there, it's all there. Um, but with the High Priestess, I feel like they're kind of, kind of keeping it to themselves being a little bit quiet. I'm also getting that um, for a lot of them, this is them feeling apologetic with that Page of Cups, um, wanting to express that with the Page of Swords, but again, holding back with the High Priestess. So let's see the King of Swords. Because it definitely feels like they are just powering up here. And we have the Page of Wands. A lot of pages here. <laughs> What's going on with them in the pages? Page of Wands and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, so definitely moving up here. Um, there's a lot of... A, there's progression, right? Moving from the pages to this king and to this queen. Um, 
taking those first steps. So this determinism that I'm seeing here with the King of Swords, it's like the beginning of that. It's like there's this motivation or there's this spark um, to really set things straight. I almost feel like with the King of Swords, right, it's like reflecting your Queen of Swords. So you being in this energy of finding your own integrity, it's also influencing them in a way where they're becoming the um, like analogous aspect of that the respective aspect of that. So you're becoming the Queen of Swords, they're becoming the King of Swords. It doesn't matter that you're not air signs. <laughs> Alright, it's the energy behind this, right? And then here we have the Queen of um, Wands showing up, which is also representing your energy. Um, so it's like, yes, this person is becoming more determined, more powerful in terms of taking those steps towards you in a passionate way. There's a lot of desire here for you. Um, I don't... There's... Because it also... What's interesting is that I don't really see if this devil's energy is being 100% resolved here. That's my only concern. Um, but for whatever reason, you know, it might not be showing up, but let's see that Ace of Swords. I definitely feel, though, with that King of Swords, that they are taking some action, um, in terms of that Devil's Energy in a positive way. It's just not as specific or as clear for that. But let's see. Ace of Swords for the potential outcome here. We have the King of Pentacles the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so it is taking a little bit of time, um, but I do like that we have another king showing up here. Right, and with the Seven of Wands, I see that, because I do feel like this is the other person um, more so than you, but this will also apply to you. This person is, is putting their foot down. I feel like they're actually fighting against whatever it is that was holding them stuck in something more material, right, that I was talking about before. Something more material or something more convenient or something along those lines rather than moving towards love. I see them blocking that out, the material aspect, which is not so meaningful. It's not as deep as the love, right, as the Ace of Cups and the King of Cups, which is representative of their feelings. So that is happening. They are fighting against that um, with more and more certainty, with more and more determinism. There is actual action happening, but it's just something that is taking a little bit of time. All right, Sagittarius, let's see. Final message for Sagittarius, please, either about this situation or just anything that they need to hear. All right, and we have dance. Move your body to music, dance with the rhythm of life, manifest your dreams through dance. So yeah, this could be a specific message for some of you, you know, maybe to just um, be a little bit more light in your in your daily energies right listen to music dance you might actually put on some music and you might hear a song that is very symbolic to you you know just take this however it makes sense to you so yeah that is it Sagittarius those were your messages thank you so much for watching much love